In this chapter, you will discover the 2D transform controls and how to create basic interpolation animations. You'll have an overview of the curve editor and the dope sheet. You will learn as well a bit more about formats and B-box. In this first video, I will add the lens flare to my comp. So previously, we've been adding all the layers but the lens flare here. And the reason I didn't add the lens flare yet is because the lens flare has a different format than the rest of our comp. If you see here, our comp is 1920 by 842. And that ring node here is a HD file of 1920 by 1080. Now, in order to merge it properly and to make sure that this lens flare will be in the right position, what I will need to do is to reformat that image. Okay, for that, I will need a reformat node. And the reformat node can be found in the transform menu here and here, reformat. Okay, I will plug that guy to my read node. And now if I preview after the reformat, if I put my viewer right here, as you can see, the format of the image changed to the 1920 by 842. So why Nuke knew that we needed that file format? Well, because we ask here the reformat to go to the root format. And I don't know if you remember, but at the beginning of the course, we went to the project settings before starting. And we went here to the full size format and we set it up the full size format for our comp to make sure that this is the format that's going to be used. Well, the reformat node is one of these nodes that will come and grab that information to reformat automatically to the right dimension. Now, here, if you would like to adjust the format of that read node to any other things, you will be able here to choose to many different formats or even to create your new one if you'd like. Here, you can choose to reformat to a format that you will choose here, but you could as well scale it or use a box where you will be able to type directly the dimension you'd like. All right, I will revert back to format for now. And now I will merge that guy to my comp. So I will come to the merge menu and create a merge node. And that merge node, I will connect it to my main pipe here. And there we go. And let's change the fusion mode as well. And for that guy, I will use a plus. Voila, perfect. Maybe, maybe actually I will use a screen. Mm. So if you have a doubt between two fusion mode and you'd like to experiment to see the difference, after modifying the operation in the merge, you can use the up and down arrow to pass through the different um, fusion mode. So for example, here, I think that the plus is bringing too much of the brightness here. So the screen mode will be more what I'm looking for in that case. All right, so this is it for now. And now let's meet in the next clip to talk about the bounding box. See you there.